All right, so we have three lines of the brand new rocket artillery unit versus an identical three lines of the same rocket artillery unit today. We're going to find out how much firepower this game can handle. And here we go! Hey guys, this is Pratt Jensify and welcome back to Wooden Battles. Guys, today we are back with another beautiful update today. We got probably the coolest new unit that we have ever seen in Wooden Battles. May I present to you the Rocket Artillery. So what happens if you get five rocket guys and line them up, okay, and then put them on a little card here. You get the rocket artillery. So this is the most expensive guy out there. And it fires five inaccurate rockets with a super long reload time. So let's go ahead. Get rid of these guys. Because that's old school boom. Okay, we got a new school boom. And I am super excited to check it out. If you're ready well, guys, leave a like on the video right here, right now. And I know you guys are excited for this one. So uh, whew, here are we. I go, let's take a look. Oh, it's driving forward. Doesn't seem to have a whole lot of range though. Fire away, buddy. Oh. oh super inaccurate. My goodness. Oh, and it's <laughs> It's gone already. Oh my good. Okay, you know what? Maybe we have to do it differently. These guys are gonna have to go. Guys, guys, remember, explosives are strong against structures and units with armor like the musketoon guys so let's see if uh, this guy with maybe a little bit of a friend okay we're gonna give him a friend there we go let's see if this time 10 rockets can take down just three of those guys that's all i wanna oh that was pretty nice okay so we took down two guys you know what this is oh beautiful beautiful it is working guys you know my special secret pendant strategy okay it's called, if you fire everywhere, you cannot miss. That is exactly what this thing is about. I feel like we need a large group of enemies to really wreak a lot of havoc. Because this is, uh, this is a good start, but it's just not accurate enough. So, let's go ahead over to the blue team. We're gonna spice it up, okay? We're gonna first get a whole group of dudes, and then after that... Maybe we can go ahead and, uh, you know, get some structures going. Actually, I didn't mean to place down such a long line. I'm going to remove all of them. Oh, no. Because I want to put these guys, like, right next to each other. Super nice and cozy. Okay, these guys are good friends. They don't mind being nice and close to each other. Because they're real brothers, okay? Brothers and sisters in a beautiful little formation. Guys, before we get this battle going, today's shout-out goes to Matt... Hammer, who's all like, hey mom, look, I'm famous. Wow, <laughs> that sure is something new. If you want a shout out, be sure to subscribe and then let me know in the comments below what do you like best about wooden battles. I want to see what you guys think about this game. Maybe you get a little bit of shout out. Now, let's see if we can fire away at this whole group. That's a lot of guys. Ha, it's working a little bit. <gasps> Whoa. So the first one and the second one kind of missed, but this, this one, this last one, that guy just took him all down by himself. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get these guys on defense, maybe, and put like a little thing in front of it. Can I do that? See if we can put this thing in front of it, okay? If we can put like one of these in front of it. Let's just see what happens, okay? I think they're going to walk into it. Yes, very nice. They're all bunched up. They can still pew. Oh. They're breaking it down, all right. No way, that's actually working. Oh, blue team is victorious. Okay, more pew pew. That is a barrage of 25 bottle rockets, aka the missiles of wooden battles. Should be enough. Ha! Huh. And it is enough, of course. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of firepower. But how about this, okay? How about we get a little bit of that uh, rubber going? Because rubber is designed for cannonballs if you shoot a cannonball at it as we've seen before it kind of bounces off and it neutralizes the uh, you know impact damage so this could potentially 
save these guys from the first attack. Let's see what's gonna happen from this side of you. Okay. Oh! That is super scary! Imagine being a little soldier with your blue head. All made out of wood and that happens. Yeah, that's not nice. Oh, whoa! One guy remains. Can he do it? Bring it home for the team, buddy! Come on! <laughs> ah, you know what? He tried, but wow. This new unit is looking super powerful. Do you guys remember this level? We had a whole bunch of dudes storming this very bridge. And it was beautiful. Let's see if we can go ahead and recreate something absolutely epic. I want nothing but the new artillery boys on this side of the team. Or battlefield. This side of the battlefield, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. That took a while to uh, clean up the battlefield. But uh, let's go ahead and place them down. Okay. How many do we need? I think we need like 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whew. Okay. So that will unleash a whopping 50 rockets at once at the enemy wall. That If, if that's not going to bring down the wall, I don't know what will. That has to be a lot of firepower. If I was a red guy, I'd be very nervous now. I'd be super nervous, actually. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. What is this? Only one fire. Oh, my. Okay, that's super bad. But you guys know. That I have another very secret, very uh, mine strategy. Okay, it's my strategy. I, I came up with this. I'm the genius behind all of this. No, that's not true. It's just a good old tactic that I like to call the meat shield. We need some dudes in the front who are pretty much going to be, you know, sacrificial lamb, I guess. I mean, they're, 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 they're there as a meat shield. They're gonna get shot at so that the rocket guys will have a better chance at pewing away. I don't know why they have like, they have so much more range. How's that possible? That's not cool. Oh wait, I took the wrong guys. We did cause a lot of damage, but I took the wrong guys. We need some Muscatoon guys, because that's a little bit of a better meat shield. Since they have pretty much only the soldier guys, which is just a bullet, it will be stopped by the armor of the Muscatoon. Right? I don't want to place down too many guys, of course. Because that is not going to be fair anymore. After all, it is about the rocket guys. So let's see if we can uh, fire away. Three, two, one. W what happened here? Oh no! It's just like the rocket men. They peel into their own guys. It's not good. Because then the guy blows up and he and... Oh man, that is really not what I wanted to see. We are still battling somehow. Oh, I think it's the Musketoons. It's the Musketoon guys. It... <laughs> Oh no, we have to redo it. So all I gotta do is just remove uh, these guys and then I think we are gonna be a-okay because now the meat shield is over here. Nice and in the front. We have rocket guys right over here. Nice and in the back. Nice and separate. Everything about this is looking pretty nice. So now I want to see nice and a lot of booms. That's not the kind of boom I wanted to see. That is on my dude. Not a good thing. Can we dodge the mortars? Yes, we can. Oh, oh, they are firing. Oh! That was looking pretty decent. How did they all go down so fast? Was this a bug? Or is this actually supposed to happen? Oh, oh, yeah. Throw another mortar. As if I didn't get owned enough already. Jeez, that is just... Look at that. It's disrespectful, man. He's not even up anymore. Ah. Huh. Not a good thing. Well, what do you do if you don't win the battle? You place down a few more guys. That's how that's how I solve all my problems in life. Just place down a few more guys. Whether it's totally accurate battle simulator, or wooden battles, or ultimate epic battle simulator, or ancient war, whatever. Any game. You place down a few more guys, you will guaranteed have more fun, okay? Because the more guys equals the more fun. Is that right? No, I don't think that's right. But in this case, maybe it is. In wooden battles, it usually is the case, right? Come on, I want to see this wall go down finally. We got the second wave coming in hot, looking super beautiful. Wait, is that is, is that it already? Huh? Oh, wait, we have one more. How does this happen? He fires, but then he knocks himself up. That's so weird. Wait a minute. Is this kind of like the generals or what were they called when those were released? When this guy was released 
aka the officer. We actually have some officers right over here. These guys were better on the red team, I think, or better on the blue team. Anyway, one team was better. I do wonder, is it the case with these guys as well? You guys know what time it is. It's time for a little experiment. So we're going to wipe the whole battlefield, clear the place, and we're gonna get one line over on the red team. And by one line, I mean from one end, right next to each other, all the way to the other side. We're gonna do exactly the same thing over on the blue team. So we have the same amount of guys on the same battlefield, and it's even the exact same dude. So now we will see which team is better. That is to say if they don't shoot each other, which I think is a... Wow. I was gonna say a big possibility. That was absolutely beautiful. Way better than expected. We're gonna have to see that one more time, okay? I don't think there's slow motion in this game, though. So we gotta go all the way to the back here. Like right over here. Zoom in. Oh, guys. So beautiful. Come on, come on. Yeah. You see all the little bottles fly, but more importantly, Red is victorious again. So if Red wins this one, I'll say that Red is actually better than the blue team. Eh? This is not a coincidence. People, this is not a coincidence. Red team is actually better here. That is super weird. Okay, what? Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Can we make a pyramid with these guys? Because you guys know we can make a pyramid with the, uh, with the can. Oh, we can make a pyramid. No way. Oh, oh, that is so super cool. Okay, wipe the battlefield right now. The real question remains though. Will it fire? Will it function? Because with the cannons and with the Gatling guns, it is a massive success. These pyramids are super powerful. So now I want to see if... Oh, uh oh. <gasps> oh boy, that was a close one. I have to be very careful here. But anyway, as I was saying, I want to see if this pyramid also works. Now I have some counting to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, we're going to do the same thing over on the blue team, but with a... Uh, well, not with a mortar, with a cannon, of course. Alright, so we have another pyramid... Come on, coming up, one more, there we go, very nice. It's not the most beautiful pyramid I've ever built. This one kind of is, I guess, but let's see what's gonna happen. Pyramid versus pyramid. It's gonna be cannons versus bottle rockets. What's gonna happen here, guys? Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> wow, okie okay. Doki then. I don't think this works with the artillery rockets. Because <laughs> they probably just shoot at each other, don't they? Okay, let's see it one more time. Just to be sure. Come on. Be nice and careful here. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, so it still works great with the cannons. Doesn't work so well with the bottle rockets. That's totally fine. We're gonna clear the whole battlefield for the final most epic battle. This will be the ultimate battle to decide, okay? Is the red team really better with these artillery guys? We're gonna find out. All right, so we have three lines of the brand new rocket artillery unit versus an identical three lines of the same rocket artillery unit today. We're going to find out how much firepower this game can handle. And uh, here we go. I want to see this whole thing blow up into the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Beautiful. That's more what I like to see. It looks like... Is, is the blue team winning here? Or is the red team winning? What do you guys think? I think the red team is still winning. I still think the red team is winning, right? <gasps> Whoa. No way. Blue is victorious. What? That is unbelievable. So today I guess we learned that the red team is better with one line. But when it comes to power and numbers, the blue team is victorious, guys. That's it for some more wooden battles, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next Bridges 5 video.